After school, we get a group together and we go over to J.C. Parks, Silico Elementary School, and help them with anything they need help with. Reading, math, social studies. Sometimes they bring games, like math games or reading games, so just whatever they need help with. They call it charter time, which is our like lunch schedule. A previous NHS member has set it up, and the principal reached out to us, and I thought it was a good idea just to get involved with like local elementary schools. I'm mainly doing this because Blake told me to, but I... <laughs> I also just, I really like talking to the kids. They look up to you, so it's really nice to talk to them and see how they're feeling about their work, how their school, because I know everyone's had a hard time with COVID, so it's nice to just interact with them. Remember when we were trying to pronounce it? Remember? My mom's a kindergarten teacher, so I've always been around that, and I always babysat younger kids, and I think giving back as a high schooler to the elementary kids is so important, and I wanted to give them a positive light on what high school should be and what high school students are like. Me doing that for them now is going to change how they view high school and how they are in high school. Usually there's kids who read books. We read chapter by chapter and then at the end of the chapter I'll write down the words that they were confused on and we'll make sure that they now understand how to say them and I'll explain that. The one time the girl lost her book from the week before so I taught her how to use the Dewey Decimal System to find it in the library. For math there's so many different ways to do things so it's nice. You can tell when someone's not getting something so you can teach them another way. Growing up, I wasn't exactly good at math, so I needed a math tutor. So there's different things that I know that I have learned through my mom or my other tutors that have helped me. It's just easier for me to help them and understand where they're coming from, where their difficulties might lie. So the kids, they are focused on their schoolwork, but they're also focused on just like getting to talk to you, just getting to talk to someone older who's still in the school system. They're always, you know, asking, what do you guys do in high school, or what is it like, or your seniors, like, what do you guys do? And sometimes they just like to talk about their day. When you see the light bulb just click and click, and their eyes get big and they smile, it's just, it's like, oh, you got it, and we just celebrate. We, we high five, we cheer. Sometimes there'll be a hard word, and then we'll go back through, and I'll teach them how to say it and how it's used and stuff, and then it'll come up again, and they see it, and they can say it. That makes them happy. It feels good because the kids always like look up to you and ask you a lot of questions about what you're doing or what you are you going to college. I think it's a good way for high schoolers to get back into the elementary kids that they were once not too long ago. I just would like to show that we are giving back, we're getting involved, we're focused on not just ourselves here but also people who will come after us. And I like it that it's through the school system, it's through NHS which I'm really proud to be a part of. These kids are going to be here one day most likely. And setting them up on the right path and letting them know that this school is a good school that they can be happy that they're going to be able to go to. Lackey also I feel like sometimes gets forgotten, you know. Smaller school it's out here so doing something like this that brings some attention is good. We're doing so much good here especially for the younger kids and we're doing good everywhere. I mean it's not just tutoring, it's our blood drive, it's our fundraising. Leaving here knowing that I did the best I could to make it better and make it shine as a good high school is something that I want to do.